Hello YouTube, Saint Bob here, uh, Saint Bob YouTube channel. This is a continuation video of the UI tutorial that I did. Uh, this is part two. If you've missed part one, guys, then please go back um, to the YouTube channel and search for the UI part one, um, and then obviously watch that and then watch this. Um, so we left off at the action bars here at the bottom here, uh, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover the certain things that um, you can place in there uh, what each button does and also we'll go on to these here and I'll explain what these are and quickly go into some of them to explain what they do um, so first of all uh, 1 and 2 this is your left hand and this is your right hand in the game everything that you use to create uh, certain things so for example if you want to now start terraining uh, like I've just been starting to do um, then you have to make sure you have a shovel equipped in your right hand um, same with logging if you want to log anything then you have to make sure you have uh, an axe in your right hand and nothing else in your left hand um, now what you can do um, is you can place abilities in here um, certain um, abilities that will come available once the combat has been refined I'm guessing uh, you can actually place things in there um, so these are just like hotkeys, shortcuts, so uh, you press the, the number that represents the action that you want to do when it's on here um, and you will perform that action. Pretty straightforward to be honest. Uh, the next side of it um, is the um, most important part of the, of the game really uh, in terms of uh, the UI um, and uh, we'll start with the first one and then we'll work to, his, uh, to the right. So first of all is stats. Uh, this is basically what you decided uh, you was going to have at the start of the game when you created your character, so your birthday, your age, uh, the height and the weight, obviously that would change the weight and the age over time, um, and possibly the height, depending if you get old, I'm sure you probably get short, I don't know. Um, your strength, uh, fortitude, agility, dex, uh, intellect, uh, perception, charm and spirit. Um, that was obviously the stats that you chose at the start of uh, the game in the character creation. So let's go out of that. Uh, the skills window is skills. So you've got your uh, combat skills. So uh, at the start of the game I chose 25 armed combat, uh, 25 axes. Basically that was what, uh, that's that's the, the number that you get once you choose your two specific uh, skills at the character creation. Every other one that you don't pick stays at five and obviously you have to then go and do actions to increase the, the skills. Um, it's like armed combat. If I was doing um, a ton of killing uh, with armed combat with any weapon then my armed combat would increase. Uh, if I did it with axes then my axes skill would increase eventually. It is very very slow I think to, to increase your skill but it does increase. Uh, I'll just quickly go through the oops, I'll quickly go through the skills uh, just to quickly show you a few things. Resources uh, again these are things that you can increase so fishing, foraging, hunting, logging, scavenging uh, all will increase when you actually do those specific uh, skills in resourcing actions hiding jumping running swimming terraforming they will all increase over time as you actually do them um, again all these things actually increase over time when you do them um, trade skills animal taming and cooking isn't introduced yet so they won't um, and obviously you've got your crafts they'll increase as you do more crafts construction obviously architecture again will increase as you do more architecture work uh, inventory then guys um, so I'm not going to explain exactly what every single slot is, it's pretty self-explanatory, um, but I'll just quickly say that uh, this is your um, what you can actually carry on your person. So for example, put this over here, uh, we have a backpack. So these are all your packs that you can carry. You have one backpack that you can actually carry on your back, and then all these other ones here are actually pouches that will go around your hips, um, and you will carry them like a utility belt. Um, and now you have to actually, uh, there aren't any bags in there, you have to actually create the bags yourself, the pouches uh, from basketry. Um, so that's what they are. And they're basically inventory slots, so you can fill them up with items um, so you can carry more loot. Um, moving down to the second row here, uh, we've got this box here. This is a very important box. This is the box that everything that you carry on your back 
in terms of resources in terms of scavenging loot uh, logging um, twigs or sticks um, that you carry uh, all goes onto your back and that is where the icon for the item sits sits there uh, the next one is obviously your left hand um, so as you can see I've got a shovel in my right hand and to use that shovel I can't have anything in my left hand um, because it requires both hands to use the shovel uh, and obviously if we put that onto the other side um, you can see that uh, my right hand's there as well uh, this next icon I've never used this one before um, I believe it's for a set of keys by the looks of it so I'm guessing we're going to be utilizing some sort of keys or this is going to be a key ring to store certain things that you would store on key rings probably keys um, so hopefully um, we're going to see some sort of feature where that introduces that in um, and the last one I believe uh, is I've never used it before but from what I can tell from the icon it does look like it's another pouch of some description um, so yeah that's basically those bars um, explained uh, very very quickly the top here these are the items that you've actually got on your back if you can see on my character now uh, I'm not actually carrying any resources so there's nothing there that is just for resources that you're carrying on your back but these up here are for items um, and we uh, weapons or equipment that you've got carrying on your back see I've got two axes which are there I've got a backpack which is there which isn't included in here um, blades, axes, certain different things you can put on there. I'm guessing that's your belt there. Looks like that's where you would store them on your belt. So can we put them in there? Yes, yeah, so there we go. We've got one in his belt. It's just moved now down to his belt. So we can put them in there. Um, let's put this one here. Yeah, you can't equip that there. Um, so basically, that's your back and hip slots. Uh, so you can put them there. Um, one thing to note guys uh, very very quickly is that if you're unsure of where a certain item goes because for example there are three trousers slots here um, and different arm slots and things like that then what you can do I'll just quickly show you put these trousers up I'm now legless in terms of clothes uh, we've got my um, trousers here or pants if you're from America I've got my pants here um, and let's just pretend I don't know where they go so I'm going to go and place it on top of my character in here and that will actually place it automatically where that item belongs and it will also put the other item that was there if there was one into your backpack uh, so that's the inventory uh, window pretty much explained um, moving on to the packs this is just a, an abbreviation of what's um, here um, but it just shows that it just means that you don't have to go into your inventory um, window to actually view your packs here um, so again I don't need to explain anything but if you do want to open your backpack then just right click on your cloth pack or whatever um, sort of storage um, facility you've got on there so let's get rid of the packs uh, actions this is where you actually start to perform your actions um, so for example if I wanted to do some logging I would equip an axe on my right hand and I would go up to a, log up to a tree and right click on logging um, again this is where you can do all your crafting skills, your terraforming um, your leather crafting, all everything that you want to do that's crafting you can right click on them and it will bring up another window uh, with all the items that you can create I'm obviously not going to go into these now because I have done separate um, separate tutorials for the crafts so I don't really need to go into those so you can have a look at those if you're curi curious about those um, so yeah that's just the actions really fishing foraging certain different things okay moving on to the resources this is the resources tab this is basically anything and everything that's around you that you can physically interact with in terms of resources so for example now I can I'm in the grass fields here I can right click on the grass resources um, and it will now st and my character will now start to pick the resources up um, so it's a good idea guys really to have this out near enough all the time especially if you're doing some gathering make sure you've got that out and as you can see it's now placed the grass on my back so let's just quickly show you you can see in my packs now in the back slot it's now put my grass there so let's just click on that put it on the floor and leave that because we don't want that okay uh, social window uh, I'm assuming this is going to change over the next few patches um, but this is basically um, your friends list 
foes list you can actually add foes which is pretty cool I like that um, your tribe you can see who's in your tribe um, and also pets so we're gonna have some sort of pet feature in the future summon and unsummon um, of obviously that's not implemented just yet um, and last but not least your tribe uh, this is obviously where the tribe would be I've created a tribe simply because I wanted to do some terraforming so I've created a tribe called it tutorial um, and obviously this is where you can do all your tu um, tribe features and such um, so that's basically the UI as you see it explained um, just very quickly I want to press the escape button here this will bring up the options menu um, or the in-game menu uh, you can return to game here you can exit game uh, you will log off automatically or you can click the log off button that comes up bind keys is so you can bind certain keys uh, to certain actions in the game and also options here is where you do your graphics options, your distances, your water um, change the effects on all of those, your shadows um, and uh, also your sound is in here as well um, so guys that's basically everything that I need to say really about that um, before I do go though, reminded myself two things I've not mentioned uh, with the chat function, very important one is slash w and then the name of the person you want to uh, whisper to so let's um, let's just whisper good old Wilbiny and let's just say hello just to show how it works and there we go and let's just put that so he knows what it is okay and the last one that I need to mention before I forget guys is this bar up here um, this bar here will actually show you certain information in terms of like health bars on players that you're attacking um, when you're close enough to, to click on them and also your uh, monsters as well um, so basically uh, that's everything explained guys um, thanks very much for watching if there's anything at all that you're unsure of or you need any help on or any more tutorials that you'd like to to see me do uh, then please do uh, message me either on YouTube or on the design community or, or even just leave a, a, a comment uh, on the video or on the channel uh, guys so um, if you if you like my videos then subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll see you again in another tutorial video so thanks very much and that's Saint Bob Saint Bob God I'm losing it today Saint Bob signing off